why would I show that clip? It's quite random. However, I wanna draw a parallel here between the clip you just saw and our focus, and essentially how focus truly works. Let me explain because I know it's quite random just looking at the clip. However, if you look at this classic example of the snowball going downhill, you know, picking up size, picking up speed, the more it goes, the same is true for focus. The more momentum we have, the more likely it is that we're gonna keep going, and overall, the better our focus will be. Now, to better understand this, we have to really dive deep into the word momentum and understand what this actually means and the parallel it has with getting in focus. Now, when you look really at the physics definition of momentum, it is mass times speed. So for example, a bullet has very low mass, however, because the speed is so high, there's a lot of momentum, meaning it's very hard to stop it, or if, if it hits you, it's more likely to, you know, for it to cause an impact on you than you on the bullet. Now, on the other side, it could also be uh, something that has a lot of mass, but low speed would also have a lot of momentum. For example, those big boats, I don't know the exact name, it's not cruises, but the one that carry like the merchandising and all that, I'll put a pic on the screen. Um, those, they may not go too fast, however, because they're so heavy, you know, it's super hard to stop them. You know, no one could stop that. Even for them to stop, it requires a lot of, a lot of effort. You know, if you just let it go, it's more likely that will, it will continue going. And that's the thing about momentum, which is the more it exists of it, the more likely it is to keep going and keep increasing. With that said, how does this relate to focus? What would mass be? What would speed be when we're talking about entering a state of deep focus and then remaining on that state, making sure that we can start focused and we can end focused as well. Now, when we're talking about our focus, mass, you know, focus mass here would be our general mindfulness, you know, how aware we are on the day to day, how grounded we are, how much in the moment we are. Because the more we have these characteristics, these skills, the more we have practiced them, we have acquired them, obviously, the more we become these people, and then the easier it becomes to enter a state of flow. So it's like we just need a little push, and the ball is already big enough that it can, you know, keep rolling on itself when we want to work, when you want to write, when you want to do whatever it may be that you want to be focused on. Not to develop it, it's really about developing ourselves. The main things here for me would be, number one, meditation. That's likely the, the biggest things because the act of meditating is the act of just being in the present moment, focused on that. And if you can be focused on essentially nothing, you know, if you're just there sitting with your eyes closed and just focusing on what is happening around you, what is happening inside you, with no entertainment, no stimulus whatsoever, almost, then you're gonna be able to focus on your work, you're gonna be able to focus on your writing, to focus on your hobbies, because you can do so at a much harder level when you're meditating. Quick break here from the video, guys. I just want to let you know that if you've been looking to better attack the days, you know, procrastinate less, focus more, and overall just have more clarity around what you're doing, where you're going, and really finding that direction so that your focus and your efforts can give you the best returns, I have something for you. We have some spots opening here on the Self-Discipline Mastery Coaching Program. It's a one-on-one -on -one program that I go through with my clients, really focus on achieving these skills. It is fully one-on-one -on -one directly with me. So if you're interested in learning more, I'm going to leave a link, not a link, but I'm going to leave the my Instagram below. All you have to do is go on Instagram if you're on, you know, on your phone right now, go on Instagram and send me a message there with the word YouTube. Once I see it, I'll reach out back to you uh, and we'll figure out if this coaching is the best for you or if there's something else that may be better for you as well. Back to the video. Um, this is something, once again, it's not going to be from one day to the other. You're not going to meditate and then you're, you know, you're this person. It does take, you know, weeks, months, years. The more you do it, the better you become. But that would be my core practice here to develop. The second one would be journaling. The act of writing, especially just writing what we're thinking, what we're feeling, 
um, almost like a, a written meditation of sorts. Once again, the more we do this, the more we can become aware of ourselves, of what we're experiencing, of what's happening. And not only can we clear our minds out of all this noise, but it also allows us to better recognize, you know, when we have urges to do certain things, when we're feeling a bit more restless, a bit more anxious, and it allows us to take better control of ourselves when these things happen. And so that would be my habit number two there. And then finally would be reading, specifically reading about how to improve in these topics, your self-development, your mindfulness, your consciousness, because the more you understand that, the, the better you become at it, the, the more knowledge you have and the more knowledge that you apply, overall, everything will kind of come together. And here your focus mass will have increased drastically. Now, when we're talking about speed, for me, speed, once again, if you start working, if you start building this momentum, you're going to pick up that speed, similar to the snowball rolling down the hill. However, here for me is much more about how do you pick up the initial speed? How do you actually get that initial push to get the ball rolling down the hill? And for me here, and what I've seen in myself and my clients, it's really about that transition between work and what you're doing before work. If it's in the morning, and that's where it's going to be more common, because for most people in the morning, is with, it's when it's going to be the most productive time. And so if you make the most out of that most productive time, a lot of the times you get your all of your work done in the morning. And so for this, what you need is essentially a morning focus routine, a set of habits, a set of practices consistently you do every day that allow you to make the transition from waking up and just being in that state to now being ready and prepared to work. Once again, it's like you're building the momentum until the point of pushing the ball rolling down the hill. Now for this, what I always recommend, and I'm going to keep it simple here, two main things or three main things. Number one, cold shower. Very hard, very difficult, but it will get you, first of all, immediately waking up. You know, you're not going to be sluggish. You're not going to be tired. You're going to be there. You know, you're going to, when that cold water hits, you're there, you're awake. And, you know, it's great for that. The second part of it is that it is a very difficult thing, a very emotionally difficult thing to do. And because of that, the, the more you can overcome this, you know, knowing that it's difficult, but overcoming it, especially something that's so physical, so emotional as well, so uncomfortable by nature, then the better you're going to be able to attack the other uncomfortable things in your day. Because none of them, if we're being honest, have such a, an intense and sharp uh, sense of discomfort. And so that would be the two main things I recommend in the morning, especially to start out. Now, the other thing that is not something so much that you do, it's more what you don't do, which is to remove distractions as much as possible. This means social media, this means YouTube, this means electronics as much as you can. Because if you wake up, you take a cold shower, you go have your breakfast, you then meditate, and you haven't been in, you know, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, you haven't been on your phone or your computer, now you're in such a much better state to actually work that, you know, if you try it, you, you probably won't even believe how, how much different it is. Especially if you're someone that, you know, it's more and more common that you wake up, the first thing you do is you check your phone. So here for that main thing, remove distractions in the morning until you start working, social media, technology, etc. Then, or not then, but in between, you take a cold shower, then you do your things, you meditate, you get to work, you're primed to actually build or to actually push that ball down the hill as fast as possible. And then you're going to pick up speed, you're going to pick up mass temporarily as well. Um, and the more you combine these two things, the overall improvement of yourself combined with a proper routine to build that momentum until you start working, the better everything will be, the better you'll work, the easier you'll work and the faster you will work as well. So start thinking about momentum. How can I build momentum to start doing the things I want? Because the better, the more momentum you create, the easier you make it on yourself. I'm going to finish. I was going to finish in a different way, but I think it's appropriate with the example of the bad side of things. You know, a big reason of why we end up procrastinating a lot and why we end up delaying more than we should is because we just keep building the momentum of doing the wrong thing. You know, if I go on my phone and I'm checking Instagram for five minutes and then there's a voice in my mind that says, 
oh, you should go work. But then there's another that says, ah, just five more minutes. And often, you know, maybe you listen to the one that says five more minutes. And then five more minutes turn into 10 more minutes and 15 and 20 and you've wasted your whole day. Because once again, the easiest moment to stop is right now. The longer it goes, even though we may think that it gets easier, it never does. It always gets harder. We trick ourselves and the moment arrives, it's harder. We start, you know, questioning why we even said that we get upset and then the whole day has gone down the drain. So build momentum to make it easier to start the things that you truly want to do that are good for you. And for the things that are bad for you, stop the momentum as fast as possible. Because the longer it goes, the harder it's going to be. Thank you for watching.